A question and or concern that we get regularly uh, comes in two forms and it's almost always from women. They'll come in, they're interested in CrossFit, maybe a friend told them that they should try it or a family member, but their concern is they're gonna get, that they're going to get bulky. And they wanna know like, if I do this, am I gonna put on too much muscle? And the simple answer to that is most likely no. It is really hard to build muscle, and if you've got the genetics that you come in here and start touching weights and immediately bulk up, you probably haven't found your sport yet, but we would encourage you to do so. For 99% of people, no matter if you're doing CrossFit, powerlifting, bodybuilding, whatever you're doing, putting on muscle isn't easy and it takes quite a bit of time, and CrossFit's no different than that. We're gonna to touch on some different training styles and questions that people have about getting muscle and putting on size. Whether you're doing CrossFit or any other kind of training, it's still largely gonna depend on the type of training you're doing within that fitness regimen or or sport. So it's Thursday for us and Christy and I just did about a 35 minute workout that was all machine based. And even if you're doing CrossFit and it revolves more around cardio, the likelihood that you're gonna put on a bunch of muscle, not great. You might lean out and get more toned, which most people want, but you're probably not gonna add a whole lot of muscle. If your CrossFit or whatever kind of training you're doing revolves around lifting weights, it's gonna take time, but you're likely to put on some muscle. And we all see the CrossFit Games athletes that look very muscular and defined, whether they're males or females. But one, that takes an incredible amount of time and energy to do. And they're also not just doing CrossFit. And that's a broad sense. But there's a lot of accessory work that goes along with that as well. It involves a lot of bodybuilding, accessory movements that one, prevent injuries, two, strengthen muscle groups that will help them do CrossFit, and a lot of heavy lifting so that they can handle the loads that either competition or CrossFit sometimes requires. The difference being that if you are in a normal CrossFit class or gym or you're looking for just GPP, that's not exactly the case. And you can do those extra things to look and feel better, but the bulk and size takes an incredible amount of energy to get there. My background was as an endurance athlete. So and in the endurance world, when I was doing a half Ironman, it takes five plus hours. I wanna be as light as possible because that way I can move across that distance easier because I have less energy to carry that load. So coming into CrossFit, I really didn't have all that interest in building muscle and I honestly thought that I was gonna get super bulky, but here I am nine years later and I am still one of the smallest athletes on the floor and I have done bazillions of reps. My first couple years, once I really was like, whoa, I wanna do this, I wanna make the CrossFit Games, my first couple years, I was spending hours on hours on hours weightlifting and hitting accessory pieces, and I still wasn't having necessarily that bulking result. So I think whether that's something that does interest you, I don't want to deter you. You can absolutely do it. You can build muscle. We got to eat the right way. We got to sleep. We got to focus on quality reps and get high volume of reps. But if you're coming into CrossFit and you're scared that that's just what's going to happen, that doesn't naturally happen. When we bulk, we have to be in a surplus because we need to be building that muscle mass. So when I say surplus, I'm talking calories. We also have to focus on hypertrophy and hitting rep on rep in those intentions to start to build that muscle mass. So it's not that you're just gonna walk in the CrossFit gym and all of a sudden look like somebody that you see on TV and be popping out of your shirt. However, if that is your goal, with a lot of dedication, hard work, fine tuning your nutrition, it is 100% absolutely possible. And I think I'm a pretty good example of it. I started with not much muscle, really loved running. I, my fastest marathon was 310. I was a really good endurance runner. And here I am squatting and deadlifting almost 400 pounds and squatting 300 plus. So it is definitely possible. If you're interested in building more muscle, we're gonna have to spend more time weightlifting and also working on isolation exercises. So things such as bodybuilding, targeting our glutes, targeting our hamstrings and overloading those muscle groups to be able to build the muscle there. If you're like, mm, not so interested, but I do wanna strength train, CrossFit class is gonna be awesome, but you maybe you wanna feel like you see your waistline and you're a little bit leaner and toned. Spending, spending that 30 to 45 minutes, zone two walking, zone two running, sitting on a bike, things like that to where our heart rate is slightly elevated but we're not in that high intensity stimulus so we are burning more fat so that way we have that lean tone look is going to be a really great way to do that. We think it's important to remember no matter what your goals are whether it's to lose weight, gain weight, get more muscular, whatever that is, it's gonna take time and hard work. So stepping into a gym, you're definitely not just gonna get bulky. But if that is a goal that you got, it is absolutely possible. And whether you're doing CrossFit or anything else, it's also gonna depend on the type of programming that you're going to do and the type of goals that you got set. So I'm gonna give you two different examples of CrossFit style workouts that can lead you into very different results. So what Christy and I just did was four rounds of an 800 meter run, 2K bike erg, and a 1K ski erg. That's largely very, very cardio intensive and is not going to make you bulky. If that's the style, 
Not that you're gonna do that every day, but that's the style of training you're doing on a regular basis. Uh, could involve more uh, double unders or jump rope and rowing, machines, uh, body weight stuff. It's certainly not gonna make you bulky. Another style of workout that we've done previously in this week, we did it with our class and at the gym, it was an EMOM style of between 12 and 14 banded chin-ups. We want to hit that goal. We wanted everybody to use a band for those high reps, and we paired that with push press, and it was a high volume push press as well. It was very muscularly fatiguing, and you are gonna break your muscles down. You are gonna get, you know, not from that particular workout, but that style of training, more muscle and probably a little bit stronger. That also burns calories and can help you lean, but you will build muscle doing that type of training. Uh, the workout after that was also paired with some similar muscle groups that definitely made people sore. They were where they used their muscles. And those are two very different styles of training. Put both of those and what we did underneath in the, the bio, if you want to either try either of those out or just be able to visually look at them. But there is a large difference no matter what sport or type of training that you're doing, you can still have a big variance of what your outcomes are going to be. One thing that I think happens to me a lot is I meet people in person and the first thing and the most common thing people say to me is, wow, you are so much tinier than I expected. I think it's really important to remember that some of the pictures in the Instagram stories and things like that that you're seeing is when people are super pumped. They've got all of this blood in their muscles. They're working as hard as they can. And also there's filters and those filters can make people look a lot different than they look in person. So remembering that just because you step into a CrossFit gym doesn't mean you're gonna end up shredded looking like the Hulk. There's a ton of hard work that goes into that. And you have to put all of the pieces together just like a puzzle to be able to get there. And like we said, it is doable, but definitely don't let that intimidate you. And I think the more you can kind of buy into the strong is beautiful, it, there's just something so empowering about being able to pick up this weight and throw it down on the ground. Being able to lift your body weight with a chin up or press off of the ground with a push up. It's just so empowering and it feels so good as a strong female. And last but not least, whatever your goals are, they are your goals. Don't let people keyboard warrior and bring you down. It is your goal working towards what you want to achieve and always keep that in mind. What is your why? Everybody's gonna have their own opinion, their own comments, and they're not all positive, but you just gotta block out the noise and do you. This video is brought to you by 8sleep. 8sleep is a smart mattress or cover that uses AI technology to automatically adjust the temperature of your bed so you can get the best night's sleep possible. It's driven by hydropower technology so you can heat or cool your bed as low as 55 degrees or as hot as 110 degrees. The best part about this is you can do each side individual. So if you're constantly wrestling your partners for the covers or throwing them off or wanting to adjust the temperature in your house, you guys can each control your own separate side so someone could have it super cool and someone could have it super warm. To learn more about the 8sleep and how it can drastically improve your sleep quality, follow the link below and don't forget, smash the like button and have a good day. Stepping out flat, body hot like you like. Never been on the inside. All I can say, oh na 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 na, no compromise. Putting up day and night. Battle to the metal to the battle.